Hi Dollar Divas, welcome to Behind the Vanity, I'm Jessica. So today I'm gonna be duping the new Urban Decay Naked Cyber Palette. Urban Decay is getting ready to release a brand new Naked Palette and I know a lot of people are so over this line of Urban Decay palettes. Um, I'm not, I still enjoy seeing what they're gonna come out with and all that kind of thing, you know? So me, I'm still kind of intrigued. It doesn't mean I go out and buy every single one of them, especially at full price anymore. But yeah, I was really intrigued with the idea of this palette. It's not something that I feel that I have to have, although I might buy it if and when it goes on sale. I'm kind of still waiting for the Wild Wild West palette to like go half off. So anyways, I just wanted to try to dupe this palette using eyeshadows that I already have. Um, and I have it confined pretty much to my Urban Decay palettes and a couple Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes. And I know, you know, it's like, well, you know, you have to use eight palettes to get one palette and it just seems very pointless to a lot of people. However, that's not the point. The point is when a new palette comes out to see if you don't already have some of these shades. A lot of times we get a palette and we only do one or two looks anyway. So if you can get a couple of looks using some palettes that you already have, you may not need to justify buying a new palette. Of course, the packaging of this palette is beautiful. It is not any more beautiful than the Stone Vibes palette that they came out with last year, but I digress. So yeah, I'm just gonna be going into some palettes that I already own, seeing how close I can come to duping the shades of this new palette, and then, and like I said, I'll probably just wait until it comes out half price and buy it just because the packaging's beautiful, even though I'm not typically that person. This palette does look pretty beautiful. And I do have a sizable Urban Decay Naked palette collection. I don't have every single one of them, but I do have quite a few. So if you enjoy all kinds of affordable beauty content, definitely make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as that bell notification. That way you don't miss an upload. And of course, if you're returning for another duping video, thanks so much for returning. I will have my duping playlist linked down below if you love videos like this. So yes, without any further chit chat, let's just go ahead and get into today's video. So I will have a picture of the palette up here and I'll have it marked for each color as we go along. And some of these shades, I have a couple different options to choose from and you probably have the same thing in your collection if you have a sizable collection. So I have everything written down and I will be referring to some notes. So the very first shade is called A1. And, and that is described, I did find descriptions of all these shades, which was very helpful because it was a little hard looking at swatches and then looking at the shades in the pan because they really do look very different. So I was able to find someone on Instagram and I will have whoever it was linked down below where they had descriptions. So that was really helpful. So, so A1 is kind of described as a cream colored satin. So it's not matte, it's not shimmery. You could pretty much use any first shade in any of the Urban Decay Naked palettes, as well as the Stone Vibe palette and a couple ABH palettes. But the one that I felt was the best in my collection was Ounce from the Urban Decay Naked Heat. It just has ever, I guess it's a satin, it's just ever so slightly shimmery. And again, if you've done this with me, you know I'm pretty horrible at swatches. So that is what I have. Like I said, it's not quite matte, not quite shimmery. It's kind of the every shade, <laughs> you know, in pretty much every palette you have. So the next shade is called Metadata. And I've got two in my collection that I feel were comparable to this. Both are in Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes. And so this shade is described as a champagne shimmer. Again, one of those very, very, very common shades. So in my Modern Renaissance palette, this shade here, Primavera, would work. And in the Carly Bible palette, this first shade here, Bali. So I'm gonna kind of show them on the finger. This is from the Carly Bible, and then this is from the Modern Renaissance. And I think ultimately I went with Bali in the Carly Bible palette. Again, just a champagne shimmer, nothing earth shattering. Then the third one is called Virtual. And for this I have two as well. It's described as a matte peach. So in the ultraviolet palette, the shade here Mind Slip is a good dupe, as well as the shade here Swarm. So here are the two shades right here. And ultimately I think I went with the shade Mind Slip from the ultraviolet palette. So again, another easy shade to dupe. So kind of in all the Urban Decay Naked palettes, it's like that second or third shade, it's very kind of common in all of their palettes that they have a similar type of a shade. So for the shade Electrode, it's described as a sheer peach shimmer. 
So I went back into the ultraviolet palette and I went right into the next shade over called Dazed. So it's kind of a peachy, shimmery shade. So for the shade Cyberspace, this is described as a peach that has like a mint shift, like a mint, it's kind of like a peach mint duochrome kind of a shade. And so I have two for this and they're both in my Stone Vibes palettes. So I do have both of the Stone Vibes palettes, the, you know, the big, the full size version and the smaller version, and they have different shades in them. And there's a shade in each of these that I feel will work. So in the mini, mini version, the shade here, Radiate. And then in the full size version, the shade Tiger's Eye. And you can kind of see these shades, they're beautiful. See, and you can both see they're kind of pink. They do have both have a slightly green shift to them. And even though both would work, I ended up going with Tiger's Eye. And honestly, I feel if you have the Stone Vibes palette, either both of them or just the large version, you really don't need this new Cyber palette because the shades are just gorgeous. And you have a lot more variation. See, isn't that beautiful? And there's a lot more I feel you can do with this. This has a whole lot more depth to it, I feel in my personal opinion. Then this was a pretty easy one as well. All from Urban Decay palettes. It's the shade Gadget. It's described as a peach pink matte. And I have three that could be used for this. Two of them are in the Naked Cherry palette. Either one of these here would work. It's Feels and Juicy. Or in the Reloaded palette, this shade here, Retro. And ultimately, I think I went with the shade Juicy. So here is what that looks like. So the shade Call It, it's described as a sheer pink shimmer. And again, I went into the Urban Decay Cherry Palette and went into the shade Turn On. So there is the swatch. Just, again, just a sheer, just a pink shimmer. So this one here, the shade Not A Bot, is described as a warm silver metallic, which I really can't envision that. So I just did the best that I could see with swatches. And ultimately the swatches are what makes something a dupe. I mean, it can look whatever way in the pan, but it's the swatch and the way it applies on the eye and the looks you can get that really determine whether it's a dupe or not. And sometimes things can look way different in the pan than you, even in swatches, but when you put them on the eye, you really can't see the subtle differences. So I went with the shade Opal Aura in the large Stoned Vibes palette. This is my favorite shade in the palette. And I kind of feel that this fits the bill because it's very, very, very metallic and it's very silver, but it does have a hint of warmth in it. It does have a bit of a warm undertone. So then the next two were the hardest, but I think I've got it figured out. So for the shade Static, it's described as an iridescent silver glitter. Not something you find in a lot of the naked palettes. A lot of them are like warm toned and it's really not like a glitter. It's not, it's not like a pressed glitter. It's just, you know, kind of, I guess like a sparkly, really sparkly shadow. So the best thing I had in my collection is from the Riviera palette and I went into the shade Seaside. Again, probably not a perfect dupe, but you could probably get a very similar effect on the eye. If anything, the this shade and really the everything that I have going on in general, it all seems a little bit more pigmented and rich than the actual swatches I've seen of the palette. There's something very transparent looking about all of the shades that are in the palette, like on the homemade swatches, like swatches I've seen people do. Um, so a lot of these might actually be more pigmented, a little bit richer than the actual palette. Then another tough one was the shade Y3K and I kind of did a trick. <laughs> so bear with me. I overlapped two shades. So of course, if you have either of these Urban Decay singles, one is the Moon Dust, it's Solstice. They are both like a brick red and have a shift. And here's what they look like. So of course you could go with either one of those and that's gonna get a very similar duochrome effect. Or if you don't have either of those and you have a lot of these naked palettes already, get heat palette, then euphoric in the ultraviolet palette and you just kind of layer it and it kind of mimics a duochrome. So again, not perfect, but in a pinch it would work. But yeah, I think if you have either two of these singles, you'd be pretty much 
fine, <laughs> you know what I mean? Also too, in the Urban Decay Stone Vibes palette, the shade right here, Bloodstone, is also another shade that really very, very much mimics the same type of effect and it's very duochrome-esque. So really any of those, you could create a similar effect. So this one was a little tricky too, just because it sound it does sound a little unusual. That is the thing, is a couple of these shades really do sound different, but I still don't know that it's nothing that you can't really get a similar effect using what you have. So the next shade is called Override, and it's described as a sheer red glitter topper. So it's a topper, you know, and a topper is usually meant to be worn over another shadow. For the most part. So I went with the shade VR that is in the Ultraviolet palette. This shade right here. And this shade here is something I had much more high hopes for when I purchased the palette. But it's not quite as intense as I want. But maybe that's just the point is it's kind of maybe a better, a better topper. It's got kind of a hint of red in it and it's sheer and really just kind of looks like something that would just be meant to go on top of something. So then the last shade, and this one was easy. <laughs> so it's called Bite, and it's described as a warm red matte, which I kind of think of as like a brick, brick shade, you know. So I went with the shade He Devil from the Naked Heat Palette, which has a lot of colors like that. I felt that one was the closest, but like I said, a lot of things in that palette would probably suffice. So there you go. So there are my swatches, and like I said, I'm not the best at swatching, so I will put a picture up here of some swatches I found on Instagram, and I will give credit to the page that I got it from down in the description box below. So what I'm wearing on my eyes is actually um, duochrome or multi-chrome eyeshadow flakes from an indie company called Beauty Bar Baby. And this is a very, very intense look, and that's personally how I like my duochromes. Um, and this palette just, like I said, I think the beauty of the Naked palettes, especially as they have deviated from neutrals into experimenting with more color, like with the Ultraviolet palette, as well as the Wild West palette, is they make them a lot more wearable for people that aren't like me and like to do crazy eyeshadow looks. So if you are someone that does want to experiment with things that are slightly shifty, it's slightly duochrome this may be a really good palette for you. Um, I think other than the packaging for me and the idea that it's a naked palette to add to my collection, I will probably, I'm not going to sit here and say I won't buy it, but I will probably wait for it to go half price. And like I said, for me, I just don't think I would like it as much as these two palettes here. These are very, very intense. And again, it's a matter of technique. You can get duochrome eyeshadows and shimmers and foils that are more intense or can come across as more intense, but it, it's your technique too. You know, spraying your brush with setting spray or using your finger can make them go on more intense. And then if you don't want them that intense, you can do things to make them not as intense, like don't spray your brush, go with a really light hand, that kind of thing. So a lot of it is a matter of technique, but like I said, if you are someone that wants to kind of experiment with duochromes and you're a little afraid, this palette is probably for you. And like I said, I'm not gonna sit here and say I won't buy it, because I probably eventually will to add it to my collection. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna run out and buy it. I do feel generally, at least until I see it in person, just seeing it in pictures and swatches, even more so in swatches, I'm, underwhelmed. I'm very, very, very underwhelmed. So I hope that you enjoyed another duping video. And if you did, show me you did by hitting that like button. Like I said, I will have my entire duping playlist linked down below. Um, I dupe some high-end palettes with some Dollar Tree eyeshadow. I've done videos like this where I've just went into my collection to dupe a new palette that isn't quite out yet, all that kind of thing. So definitely check out that playlist if you are interested and definitely comment down below if you are interested in this palette and you think you might pick it up. Definitely let me know down in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.